hello and welcome to my youtube channel my name is rose and in today's video we are going to discuss the difference between romance scam and genuine online dating so yesterday i came across a video where there is this lady who was talking about um you know if you want to find somebody who would pay school fees for your children if you want to find somebody who will build your house or buy your house if you want somebody who is gonna be supporting you financially then go for senior citizens okay uh so for me i was thinking what what is this lady telling us because uh, I used to follow her videos because she actually used to have like uh, sensible advice but then now she has decided to start this side hustle where she's creating dating profiles uh, on dating sites for people and she's charging therefore I feel like her narrative has changed because even in that video she was answering uh, a comment where somebody was like you know i'm so happy that you helped me i have found this 78 year old man who has sent me uh, 50,000 uh, shillings in kenyan currency um so now i was thinking what exactly are we saying here because this is not online dating in my opinion this is romance scam okay and a lot of uh, countries in this western world they have put measures in place to protect their senior citizens against romance scams right and uh, it's so unfortunate because when it comes to now getting on a dating app and just targeting a retired senior citizen you know just targeting a vulnerable lonely person not because you you might find them attractive and you might actually have a, a chance of having a romantic relationship with them but your focus is actually on their bank account so in this video that i was watching yesterday like i felt so sad because this lady is is talking about once you find that old man you have to convince him to to come and retire or, or to come and settle in your country for example kenya she was talking about kenya so you have to get this old man to to come and live in your country because you want to milk him of all his god and this reminded me of a story that happened i think about two years ago in kenya where this british guy found a lady online and this lady convinced this guy to sell his house in the uk and to come to kenya and buy a house in kenya in her name okay and you know and also she managed to actually transfer a lot of money from his bank account to her bank account okay all his savings everything that he had accumulated everything she was able to transfer all his money from his bank account to her bank account and he had bought a house in her name and then this lady decides now that uh, she was going to leave this guy okay she actually kicked him out from her house she was claiming some you know domestic or something you could see looking at this guy you could see that he was being framed right so now this guy ended up with nothing he was crying out to his embassy to get him back to the uk where he has nothing in the uk so now it was up for the government to give him a council house or to set him up somehow so he can have some kind of life back in the uk and now the only income he had was the little pension that he was getting the retirement pension so this is what this lady is recruiting our our women to do in my opinion for me i feel this is not online dating this is romance scam you, like you if that's what you're doing you and those scammers that are being you know investigated by the fbi by, by scotland yard like all those scammers that are being investigated you and them there is no difference because you're going there and you're finding this uh, senior citizen who is as i said vulnerable lonely just looking for somebody maybe just looking for somebody who would love him and you're pretending you love him and you don't you are not even compatible you don't find him attractive you don't like there is nothing you people have in common apart from you targeting his bank account this is not online dating online dating is when you you uh, create a dating profile on a dating website 
and then you look for people you talk to people and then you find out if you have things in common you look at their uh, physical appearance because it's it's important also to be attracted to somebody physically because you're gonna be intimate with these people right so you look at somebody you're like hmm he looks good you know uh, and then you speak to him and then you see if you have connection and then you take it from there but looking for somebody and just looking at their age you're just you just want to target their age because according to this woman you target the age that's what she said okay so you're looking at uh, 65 uh, 70 80 you know just looking at their age so you are targeting senior citizens to scam them you are a scammer you are not a woman who is looking for love on a dating site okay especially when it comes to a woman like even for me in, in my age right now there is no way i would go targeting a gentleman who is 78 years old because i would be lying saying that i find that gentleman attractive so tell me how a 35 year old woman is targeting a, a 78 year old uh, gentleman and, and saying um leaving a comment talking about oh i am so happy uh, I, 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 it has been successful he has sent me forty thousand, uh, whatever amount 50 100 200 000, like it doesn't even matter how is that success and this is the issue and i've talked about this before we measure the success of online dating on whether somebody is sending us money or not which means we are not going there dating we are going there um you know using dating sites as um ways of getting rich quick ways of getting people to pay our bills uh, ways of getting people to help us take care of our children and pay our school the, the children's school fees and, and and pay our rent and so it's not dating is it it's not it's not dating okay and the issue here is when you get on a dating site and you are looking to date outside your culture um outside your race outside your culture outside your country outside your continent where people some, sometimes these people who, from the western world don't even believe that they you know they have to pay your bills you know as soon as they claim you as their girlfriend suddenly you become their responsibility especially when you're doing it online it's virtual you haven't even met in person and you you demand and you expect that they should start paying your bills this is wrong okay in my opinion this is wrong i feel like um if you're gonna do online dating just go there because you want to find somebody to date right don't go there targeting age you know you are targeting age because you know these people especially you know those ones who have um yeah their, their, their wives had passed away they are lonely they are they are kind of depressed so so you are looking for people who would be easy to fall for your lies people who will be easy to manipulate because they are vulnerable and because they are lonely it's so unfortunate uh, that this is what is happening like online dating has become something so ugly it used to be Online dating, online dating, it just used to be, you know, you get on a dating app, you have fun, you talk to people, sometimes it will develop into to something, sometimes it won't, you know, sometimes you just find friends, that's how it used to be, and actually these people from western world, they, they don't take it as seriously as you think, it's just that now, since you are targeting age those ones who get on a, on a dating app the the older people who are on dating apps as i say this because they are vulnerable they are lonely they are looking for people to talk to and you take advantage of that so you just want to milk them to milk them of cash 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 and in the end you don't really want to be with them anyway in fact while you're in a long distance relationship, you already have a, a man in your country that you're going to see any or you are involved with anyway. So it's a scam. It's actually a scam. It's not online dating. As I said, the difference between online dating and romance scam is uh, online dating, legit 
online dating you get on a dating app and as i said you talk to people uh, you get to know people you get to look at their profiles you see what what they like what you like you see how they look like you look at their pictures you see what attracts you to that profile and then you talk to those people Romance come on the other hand, you get on a dating app, you look at people's uh, age and then you start pretending that you have fallen for them. So you are acting. Oh yes, I have fallen for you. I find you so attractive. Oh my goodness, you are what I have been looking for. Knowing very well that is not true. And in fact, you, fall in, you pretend to fall in love with them very quickly very quickly you don't even get to know anything about them nothing whatsoever you are already in love you are in love with their age because you think they have money that you can just uh, scam them and once you find out they don't have money then you drop and go you know you drop that one you go to the next one the next older one it's a scam you people are scamming people on dating sites and you need to stop stop taking advantage of senior citizens they are lonely, they are vulnerable, and of course they are looking for love just like any other person. We all need love. We want love. Everybody wants to be loved and appreciated. So for you to go there and get a senior citizen and get him to move to your country so you can scam him in peace away from his relatives, away from his friends, away from the security of his country, you bring him to a foreign land under the pretense of you love him, you have fallen in love with him, knowing very well you haven't, God will punish you. It's so unfortunate. Like, it's so unfortunate. And I hope, I hope, you know, I keep listening. Uh, the reason why I decided to make this video actually is because I keep listening to this, you know, Western media. You know, they, they are constantly warning their senior citizens against Roman scams, especially from Africa, from Asia and from South America. Okay. So when I see a video of a woman who is actually recruiting Kenyan women to be Roman scammers, I feel so sad. Just get on a dating app and, and just look for love. Look for somebody, look for somebody to be in a relationship with if you really want to do online dating. Okay? And all these things you people are doing are going to catch up with you. Because these governments are working. They have so many programs right now tracking and watching those Roman scammers. And Kenya, unfortunately, has now, <laughs> has now been ranked as one of the, of the spots where Roman scams are, gen, uh, are originating. Okay? If you get on a lot of dating apps right now, get on OkCupid, okay you will see there is a warning about Roman scams originating from Kenya. So chances of you ending up in trouble and you know you guys you don't even know how to use the internet anyway as I said you're paying that lady to create a dating profile for you on a dating app. So she's telling you she's coaching you on how to scam old people old European people old American people you know old Australian people. And you are not even sure like you don't even know what you're doing on those dating apps so the chances of you being tracked by the authorities are very high mm -hmm. they are very high so um it's so unfortunate uh, i like i really i really hate this i hate what online dating has come to especially when it comes to uh, some african women some kenyan women i'm not saying all kenyan women are scammers of course not but uh, there is this thing on social media where everybody now has decided to be an online dating coach. And uh, those who have started these uh, businesses where they're, they're, you know, they say they are creating dating profiles for you and you have to pay for that, of course. Or they are, they are selling some uh, you know, courses or things on what to do online. Unfortunately, a lot of them, they tend to change the content. Because as I said, this lady used to be, like she used to speak sense. But now because she's making money out of this, she has now changed 
okay and now it's about finding somebody who is going to send you money and it has to be an old man it has to be an old man and you know i i think uh, that lady i think she had been in europe somewhere i don't know whether it's a uk or somewhere so she knows she knows it is wrong and she makes her content in swahili okay but the thing is it doesn't matter these days which language you are speaking to online because there's this um there's this place I, I i i don't remember whether it was on instagram or here on youtube and there was a video and the comments were mainly in kikuyu in my language and i was and then there was the the translate button i was like hmm, let's check this out let's see it's gonna be let's see if it's gonna be accurate you know translating what is being said tell me why those comments were translated in english and they were accurate so don't think that if you're speaking in Kikuyu online, if you're speaking in Swahili, you think that you're hiding. If the authorities want to find out what you're talking about, that this technology right now is so advanced that, you know, they can just get, they will find out what you're talking about. They will find out that you're coaching Kenyan women to scam senior citizens. European senior citizens, American senior, senior citizens, Australian senior citizens, you know, like, oh my God, let's do this. If we're going to do online dating, let's just do online dating. If you meet a man who, you know, you get to know each other and then he's like, oh, you know what, babe, I, you know, I know if I was there, I would have been taking you out. I would have been doing things for you. Therefore, you know, I'm going to be sending you some money so you can do something for yourself. You know, out of his own free will. It's not that, like, that you have manipulated him. You have switched off the, the lights in your house and now you're lying to him that uh, the power had been cut off. Um, you are doing all kinds of things just to try and, and scam him. That is not right. But if you talk to him and he finds out uh, where, maybe he finds out where you live, he, he doesn't like you living there. So he decides, you know what, I'm going to be paying your rent, find a better house, whatever it is, out of his own free will, then that is okay. If you have gone for him because of his, his age, because you can manipulate him, then that is not correct. That is not right. Okay. I feel like you should just go for somebody who is age appropriate somebody that you can find attractive somebody even when he comes to your country you you, you know you you can be intimate with with him without getting drunk i've said this before okay um wow it's it's it like oh my goodness that it's so wrong in my opinion is wrong i don't know what you think you can leave your comments below um but i think if we're gonna do online dating let's just do genuine online dating let's just get on those dating apps looking for people um, that we can potentially have a genuine relationship with my name is rose here on this channel we talk about online dating interracial dating age gap dating intercultural dating <laughs> relocating if you're interested in those kinds of topics, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please share this video with somebody who might find it useful. And I shall see you on my next one. Bye bye for now.